welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 today guys i'm gonna do my euro 2024 my dream draw guys so this is the the pots for you guys so you guys can look at that here and see which nations which pot that you're supporting or rooting for and yeah we're gonna quickly go through this um and yeah we're gonna go and get started so let me know if you, you let me know what you guys think in the comments below of my dream draw remember guys to like and subscribe helps the channel grow and yeah like i said guys remember guys the goal is to get to 1500 subscribers by the end of the year so yeah if you can do that if you can subscribe that'd be greatly greatly appreciated let's move to group a so group a we have here is germany turkey netherlands italy for me this is a group of death i think this would be a very good group i would love to see how germany do in this group because this is a very difficult group for them and i feel like, i feel like for germany there is a possibility they may go out the group stage of the euros and this will be very difficult for them you know turkey a nation that had a, a embarrassing euros last time around needs to perform well netherlands kind of disappointed and italy as well so basically the only nation in this group that didn't underperform in the last euros was italy every other nation i would say should have done better germany should have, have not gone on the round of 16 in that kind of fashion and netherlands for me after how well they did in the group state they shouldn't have gone on the round of 16 in that fashion and of course turkey they finished bottom of the group we know italy defending euro champions there is even a chance they may get grouped in this group. So it's going to be interesting, guys. I want to see how this group unfolds. And it's very difficult to call. I think it's a very, very difficult group. Moving to Group B, we have Port Group B, Portugal, Austria, Croatia, Serbia. Of course, Croatia, Serbia is the big headlines. Of course, we know how much the two nations despise each other. And I would love to see how Austria do against Croatia. I believe the two of them met against each other in the Nations League. And I want to see that matchup again. And Austria, Serbia could be very interesting. And then Portugal, Portugal, Austria. You know, Portugal, Serbia, Portugal run revenge. What happened in the 2022 World Cup qualifiers when Serbia denied them direct qualification? I don't know. I think this group, there's a lot of narratives, a lot of storylines, which I really like. And I feel like Group B would be very, very good. And of course, I believe Portugal, Austria in the Euro 2016. So Portugal um, may want to get revenge against Austria for um, pulling them potentially out of the group stage of the Euros at that time. So yeah, I think this is good. Moving to Group C, we have France, Hungary, Squ Scotland, Switzerland. Wow, this is a fantastic. France wants revenge against Switzerland after what happened in the last Euros. And then Hungary. Hungary as a team has been amazing. They have been one of the, they could be potentially one of the dark horses. And I think for me it's gonna be interesting. You have Scotland as well. The, you know, Hungary versus Scotland. That could be a very interesting battle. And I'm really keen to see how um that France Switzerland game. I think that's a big headline to this group. And obviously Hungary as well. Could they do what they did in the last Euros? Because they were in the group of death in the last Euros and they did they did pretty well man to be fair to them even though they finished bottom so i really am keen to see what happens here and i think scotland also finished bottom their group so we have two nations that finished bottom the last euros going in again against each other and you know and i want to see how which team does better because one of them is not going to finish bottom you know who will finish better this time hungary or scotland in this group group d we have spain denmark czech republic playoff b winner now this isn't as like exciting as like probably the other groups however i do think this group is very open because Spain and Denmark, I feel like, are kind of around the same level. I would probably edge with Spain being better, though, because Spain seemed to have gotten in grip, whereas Denmark, I, I, I don't know, man. Denmark have not really been the same ever since that, um, what is it called, the World Cup, man. Ever since that World Cup, they have been very underwhelming. Czech Republic as well, and the playoff B winner, which I believe has Israel, Ukraine, Iceland, um, I believe so. Um, Bosnia Herzegovina, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Because even though this is probably a favorable group for Spain, I feel like it's very open for that second place because I think that's a really interesting battle between Denmark, Czech Republic, and the playoff B winner, whichever team will win or playoff B, of course. Group E, I got Belgium, Romania, Slovenia, and the playoff winner C. So that's, I think, Greece, Georgia, uh, Kazakhstan, and Luxembourg, I believe. So that's a very interesting i think this is a very open group it's kind of like similar to what i said for the last group where in the sense that spain have a very favorable group belgium as well and i think our second place battle is what's interesting in this group because i'm really keen to see how slovenia do in their very very first euros after a very long time obviously all blocks first euros as well benjamin sesco's as well and i'm really keen to see how slovenia take on the occasion you know then you have romania as well and then greece the greece potentially luxembourg and these kind of nations so it's very interesting that this is kind of like the unfamiliar group where we don't really know. Like, it's hard to call which team is getting to second place, you know, because it's very open, right? So, yeah. And then finally, moving on to the final group we have here is England, Albania, Slovakia, the playoff winner A, 
which is going to be either Wales, um, Finland, um, and I think it's Poland, and I think it's um, uh, Wales, Finland, Poland, Estonia. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens because I think um, this is a very interesting group. England have a very favorable group again, and I'm really interested to see how the Albania-Slovakia game goes and maybe uh, – what you see here so this is very interesting so i hope you guys did enjoy my euro 2024 dream draw i really hope you guys did enjoy so guys so let me know your dream draw in the comments below and if you're from any of these respected nations tell me if you're in the below if you're happy with this draw and you would be happy indeed so like i said guys i'll see you guys tomorrow for the live reaction at around 1 p.m eastern time that's when the draw should finish um and i'll do a reaction when the draw is over so please subscribe to get notified whenever i go live and of course like and subscribe hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys later Peace out.